everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make a submarine sandwich. This sandwich right here, pretty much bomb. So easy to make, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, you make a Gina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my submarine sandwich before. I'm gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is find out what type of meat you would like to use. Now, when I'm making a submarine sandwich, I always like to make sure that my meats are nice and thin because honestly, you really wouldn't want thick meats on your submarine. So here's what I like to do. I have some gorgeous hard salami and look how thin it's sliced. Perfectly sliced, gorgeous. And then we have some garlic bologna, okay? beautiful garlic bologna there. And then we have some honey ham. Any choice meats you would like to use, that's what you can use. If you're not a, a fan of pork, you can use all turkey, you could use chicken, you know, have fun with the recipe. You're gonna need some provolone. This is just a natural provolone, it is not smoked. You're gonna also need some French bread. This is French bread or you can use Italian bread. And also you're gonna need some mayonnaise. When I make this submarine sandwich, I like to use a zesty um, mayonnaise versus the sweet Miracle Whip, okay? And then you're gonna need some beautiful fresh tomatoes, a nice sweet Vidalia onion, and then also you're gonna need some red wine vinegar. You will need some banana peppers, some pickles, and we have some oil here that we'll be mixing with our red wine vinegar. And also a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. So we have some Italian seasoning, some black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all how I make submarines at home. It's kind of relaxing to me for some reason, just to kind of layer the meat and the cheese and spread the mayo and make a nice sub like you want it. You know, because not all the time when we go out to our local restaurant, to purchase a sub, do they make it the right way? You know, you might not get enough mayonnaise, you might not get the amount of salt that you want on it. When you make it at home, it can be exactly how you want it. If you want thick tomatoes, you want a lot of tomatoes, you can make it how you like. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do, make sure you wash off those veggies. All right, we're gonna cut into our tomatoes just like so. Not too thin, but not too thick. Give yourself some nice slices. Now, I'm gonna show you all what I like to do with my onions, but I really don't believe I'm gonna put onions on this sub today. And the reason why is because sometimes I just don't want onions on my sub, you know. Most of the time we do, but I don't think today, but I will show you a nice technique that I think you all will be really interested in. <clears throat> I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below, when is the last time you all had a nice cold cut submarine sandwich? If you haven't made one, now's the time to make you one. All right, so we got some gorgeous tomatoes there and I'm just gonna set them onto this platter just like so in this manner. All right, gorgeous. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and cut into this nice sweet onion. And I'm just gonna cut this baby really quickly because I really don't wanna cry. Just gonna do a couple slices. <clears throat> now what I wanted to talk about, if you wanted to use the onion, is what you can do is first thing, when you're making a submarine, you wanna make sure that that onion is nice and thin. Okay, the second thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna put your onion into an ice bath. This is ice and cold water, and then you submerge your onion down into the ice water, and it really takes off some of that pungent taste, you know. An onion is amazing on sandwiches, but sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. But if you put it in some ice water, you're set. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up my cutting board. When I come back, I'll show you all what you need to do next. 
Now, usually in your local market, like Walmart, um, you can find a French bread or an Italian bread like this. But what I like to do is I like to take some of the carbs out. You know, that way you don't have so much bread. This is a really delicious bread. Kind of crispy on the outside. In the inside, it's nice and airy and soft. It's perfect for a submarine sandwich. And what I love about these sandwiches is you can make it the day before. You know, make it ahead of time. We are using a serrated knife. A serrated knife really helps you to cut into bread without like destroying it, you know? So let's cut this baby just like so in this manner. All right, and then we're gonna take some of the filling out of the middle, okay? Take a little bit out this way. Now listen, don't think that I'm gonna toss this out because we're not gonna toss it out. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna save that, we'll put it in a Ziploc bag, throw it in the freezer, and when you need some fresh breadcrumbs, make you some breadcrumbs. You know, it really is that simple. You know, you just kinda zip them in the um, uh, food processor, and voila, fresh breadcrumbs, okay? All right, so we're taking a lot of the top out and a lot of our fillings will be able to fit right down in there. Like our um, shredded lettuce. Shredded lettuce I didn't put on my counter, but you know I'm gonna use some lettuce, I forgot. It's never too late, it's never too late. All right, so now that we've hollowed out, and see, so we're not gonna have that many carbs. We got the top and then this is hollowed out. And if you wanted to hollow out, the bottom a little bit go ahead i'm just going to take a little bit out of the bottom because i still do love the taste of this amazing bread like i said put that in a freezer bag throw it in the freezer okay i'm going to continue to do this and i'll be right back so now that we've hollowed out our bread go ahead and put you some mayonnaise in something like almonds or a duke's mayonnaise and i like to put the mayonnaise on the top and the bottom. You know, like if you're a person that loves mustard, like my husband, he loves mustard. Um, you know, you can get the little mustard packets, you know, so that they can put their own mustard on or put a little mustard on, you know. Find out what your loved ones enjoy so you can have that on the sub. All right, if you have somebody that doesn't love pickles, then you're not gonna put pickles on it. Or put pickles on your half and not their half, you know. Okay, so now that we have our mayonnaise, just like so, if you want to put on a little bit of hot sauce, that would be a great addition, you bet it would. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna make sure that I grab my lettuce out and we're gonna wash that lettuce really good. All right, just like so, let's smear that. And then we're gonna get started assembling our amazing sandwich, starting with our provolone. But first, I wanna take a little bit of Italian seasoning, put it right there, and put it right there, just like so. Let me get my provolone open, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so the first thing that we're gonna do is let's go ahead and lay our provolone on, on the bottom, okay? And you can shingle it a little bit, that's what I like to do. I like to shingle it. If I haven't said I hope you all are having an amazing day today, I do. And I hope you all had a happy new year. Okay, so on we go with our cheese. I think, yeah, I think one more piece will do. I absolutely love the flavor of provolone, but I don't like the flavor of smoked provolone. It just, I feel like smoked provolone has a really funky taste that I, I'm not too, too sure about. Okay, so now that we have our provolone, we're going to do the same thing with our thinly sliced hard salami. If you like the Genoa salami, then you'll get the salami that has the black peppercorns in it. Okay, so you see how we're shingling it in this way? I might do two layers of this, we'll just kind of see. And if you wanted to get the sandwich size pepperonis, that would be a great addition to the submarine sandwich. Absolutely it would. What we're gonna do with this sandwich after it's done is we're gonna slice it and then we're gonna wrap it up in saran wrap, which is the plastic wrap. You all know the plastic wrap. And it keeps it nice and fresh for 24 hours, like I said. We'll go ahead and use these extra pieces, just kind of throw them on and put maybe two or three more pieces on. Perfect, okay? So next what we're gonna do is what I like to do with my garlic bologna, you gotta have that garlic bologna. I like to fold it, okay? And we're gonna shingle it, let's start over here. I'm left-handed, so I always, <laughs> always like to start that way. 
we had a dilemma in the house the other day where I, I put the dishwater on this side <laughs> and the dishwater is usually on this side you know and my husband discovered he said I know why I know who did it and I know just why he said because mommy is left-handed <laughs> he said you're left-handed you put the dishwater over here we're not used to that and I laugh so hard because it's so true it's so true I feel kind of odd when the dishwater is on this side I need for, I need to rinse over on this side. So <laughs> everything's kind of weird when you're left-handed. I need to get some more garlic bologna out and I'll be right back, right back. Got the goods, got the bologna. So now we're gonna continue the same thing, just like so in this manner. Oh, and you know what? When you got some nice fresh lunch meat, it's just like the best. Make sure that it's fresh. When you go to your local deli, you tell them exactly how you want it sliced. You know, don't just let them just slice it any old kind of way. You got to have it nice and thin so that your sandwich turns out right. You don't want any thick meat because it just destroys the sandwich. Okay, so let's kind of, there we go. Amazing. Okay, and the next thing that we're going to do, let's go ahead and we're going to take that honey ham and you just kind of like scrunch it. Oh, my mouth is salivating. I know, I know, we're not even almost, we're not even done yet, but I know what it's gonna taste like. Oh, it's gonna be delicious, like I said. And those of you that don't eat, eat pork, have fun, get you some oven roasted chicken, get you some barbecue chicken, you know, some type of turkey, some mesquite turkey. Have fun with your recipe so that you can enjoy it as well. Okay, gorgeous, look at that. Oh, I love, we love these flavors here. That's why when I make this typically, these this is the lunch meat that I usually like to use. Sometimes you will find me using like a mortadella, which is great, okay? Gorgeous. Okay, and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to, when I come back, I'm going to mix together the red wine vinegar and the oil because I like to put red wine vinegar and oil on our subs. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix together this red wine vinegar and the oil. Like, have you ever went to um, one of your local sub shops and they ask you, do you want oil and vinegar? I like to make mines at home. Okay, here's what we're gonna do because I'll be pouring, shaking for days trying to get that red wine vinegar out. I like to use vegetable oil. You could use olive oil absolutely if you wanted to. Mix it with the red wine, okay? And then here's what I like to do. Shake a little bit of Italian seasoning in there. And you have this amazing vinaigrette that's gonna give your sub great, great flavor. Mix the two together. Mm, even taste it. Taste it to see if you want more red wine in it. This is delicious. Even put this on your salad. Try it sometime, okay? So now here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and start putting some of our lettuce here on the top, just like so. If your family likes a lot of lettuce, throw it on. Pal it on, have fun. Right now would be the perfect time to put your onions on. You would put the onions right onto the meat. Like I said, we're not gonna do the onions today. I just wanted to show you a little trick that I like to do. Okay, gorgeous with that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the tomatoes. And I like to go from crust to crust, all the way from the end, all the way. All right. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Mm, mm, mm. All I need is some Grippo's potato chips and we're set. And a nice Pepsi with um, lots and lots of ice or a vanilla Coke. I, I, I think I'll change that. I'd like to have a vanilla Coke with lots of ice. <laughs> All right, gorgeous. Let me slice one more slice of tomato. Get on there, just like so in this manner. Okay, I'm gonna scoot the sub up. Kind of getting kind of full here. All right, gorgeous. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Give it a nice mix. Oh, <laughs> listen here. You never made you a submarine sandwich, Gina Young style. You better make you some, doggone it. It's gonna be good, you hear me? Woo, it's gonna be good. A little bit over there. All right, now, can't put tomatoes on any type of sandwich, at least not at the Young's house, without a little bit of salt, 
little bit of black pepper. It really brings out an amazing flavor on those veggies, okay? Salt and pepper that baby just like so. Ooh wee, you bet. Okay, and then if your family loves pickles, get you some on there, okay? If your family loves banana peppers, get you some on there, all right? A lot of people, believe it or not, a lot of people like to have um, uh, cucumbers on their sub. I think it's really interesting and I honestly haven't tried it, but one day I have to try it just to say, you know, whether I like it or not, or, you know, just to be able to say, I've tried it and, you know, I'm not a fan of it or I really like it. Don't knock things until you try it, you know, because you want to know if you like it. Some people, there are some people out there that says, mm, mm -mm, not for me, without even trying it. You know, I, I can't stand that. That drives me crazy. Don't knock it until you try it. Okay, I'm going to continue to put these on just like so, and I'll be right back. Right back. Take a look at it, everybody. Tina Young style submarine sandwich. Make you some. Okay, let's put our sub together. And when you flip it over, because you do have lettuce on one side, kind of do it real quick so your lettuce doesn't go flying everywhere. Okay, okay, so here we go. Boom, bam, bam, boom, just like this. Oh, and the bread, like I said, the bread is nice and fresh. Smells so good. Now, what I like to do is I like to cut it just like so in this manner, but for this video, we're just gonna go right down the middle and then I'll cut it later. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get to see down into the inside of this sub and take a bite. One more look at it. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. We're not going to take a bite right now, but you all can. Take the biggest bite. Look at that. Oh, yes. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. God bless. Good night.